Mighty Oaks, what what? Hey team. Okay, training time. I have so much excitement right now. Our team is growing. The company is growing. Our team is growing. And so it's kind of this moment of now what? I'm an ambassador or I signed up just for wholesale pricing. I'm excited. I'm kind of curious about the business side. Now what? So if you really are wanting to turn a corner and start this business, there are a handful of you that are right there. You're saying, I'm, I'm Heidi, I want to do this. Let's do this together. And so this is for you. How to promote to silver. How to promote to silver. So I'm going to kind of walk you through this now what process. Um, first, I want to kind of set up a scenario. You know, I went to school to be a teacher and I was trained to be a teacher. I picked a great school. I went to William Jewell College and I I went into the classroom and I had so much training for my education, but that didn't really fully prepare me for the classroom. I still had to I still had to get hands-on training from my coworkers and a mentor and just on the job training, moment by moment, classroom to classroom. And so that on you know, on on hands-on training was very necessary for my success. Same thing here with starting this network marketing business. Um, what is network marketing? If you have no idea what network network marketing is, um, also called multi-level marketing, um, so you need to know what direct sales. What is this? What am I doing? What have I gotten myself into? So you need to know what that is. That it's um, legit and it's booming right now. So know what know what we're involved in. Um, like me, I had no idea. I really didn't know what I'd gotten myself into, and and then you know through the course of learning, it it kind of opened up but you need to learn skills. We can't just be successful at this business without learning skills, and it's take, it takes time. You have to do that personal development and growth and spend some time doing it so that you can promote and set your goals and meet them. So how do we do this? Um, yes, it's important to be transparent and share your story. It's important to be a product of the products, um, even if it's just a couple products, but you, you have to turn that corner and really decide, I'm gonna share my story, I'm gonna be bold, and I'm gonna do this and, and, and work toward it. So I'm going to give you kind of some practical steps to help you. Um, how, do you how to be intentional. You have to be intentional and, and really want to work to the next level to meet that goal, to, to get to the next level. And you kind of have to have what I've learned in the business is like this laser focus where um, no one's really going to throw you off track. No one's going to deflate this like bubble of excitement that you have. So you, you really need to have a plan. How do I have a plan? How do I do this? So tips. Here's some new tips for um, if you're new to network marketing. Invest in learning what it's about. So I started with a book that has been kind of like my network marketing Bible. Um, it's called Rock Your Network Marketing Business, and it's by Sarah Robbins, who's um, just an expert in, in the business, is very successful, and there's so much information in this book. It's overwhelming, but it is so key to helping you turn that corner and really be successful. Um, I have given out a lot of these to, to many of you, my ambassadors. Um, if you don't have one and you want one and you're ready to do this, let me know and I'll send you one. I have extras for that purpose. So it's monumental. That book was monumental and, and really helping me <laughs> go, okay, I'm doing this. And I'm going to start putting um, in place and, and working out what she's teaching me. So I use it. I've used it to build um, my business and where I am and where I'm going. I use it constantly. Um, the trainings I've been doing this past week. I used it often and how I format my trainings and just informational meetings, opportunity meetings, and really how to present the information so it's welcomed. Okay, steps. I'm going to try to be quick, but I want, there's like five steps I want to focus on. There's a whole lot of other things you could be doing, but I'm going to focus on five steps for you to promote to silver. Okay, first you need to know what network marketing is. What is this? Um, you need to, you also need to know what you need to know to be successful. Okay, and I am going to continue to push out information onto our Mighty Oaks page, and I know Sarah is too, and Roz, and Celeste, and everybody you're added to. There's constantly a flow of information on how to grow, how to be good, what is network marketing, and what do I need to do to be successful. So it's out there, okay, it is out there, training is out there, it's available, and if you have questions, always ask me. I'm, I will get the answers to you as best I can. Um, but I didn't just show up in the classroom when I started to teach middle school art, elementary art, high school art, I've taught all of it. I didn't just show up in the gifted classroom when I started teaching gifted students. I didn't just show up without an education. I went and trained myself. I went to school and I put in four and a half years and I mean, I just, you have to do a little bit of the back work to be successful. To be good at anything, you have to work hard, you have to train, you have to, you know, prepare. So that's what this is. Know what network marketing is, what's about, what you need to do to be successful. Second thing, 
get organized, get a planner, get a calendar. Um, Sarah, my upline, got me this, and you can't really see it, but it's got the snazzy plexus sticker right there. So I just started. I started in September, and that's actually when I said I want to rank to silver. September was my month, and that's when I did it. I set a goal, and I met my goal when I first started writing things down. Um, but it's just filled with an ongoing running list for me with dates. I just put what I need to do, and then when I accomplish it, I check it off and I write the date. And I have people's names, I have um, different things I need to take care of, send things to people, emails, follow-ups, train myself. I have written myself in my own ongoing list of schedule, like a video I wanted to watch or something I had on my mind I wanted to learn more about. Like, I put it on here. And I just did a different kind of planner. I didn't put it on the calendar. Um, I set my goals kind of as a running list. So do it how it works for you. Um, I have more of these if you want more of these and I've got multiple of them. I've got other ones that I just kind of have all sorts of different checklists of people I'm inviting to events and training notes, things I've learned when I've been at trainings or videos I've watched I want to keep the information. So that's how I'm compiling that for myself, a planner, okay? That's the second thing. First thing, know what network marketing is. Second thing, a planner. Third thing, share your story. I didn't start really doing this publicly anyway early enough. When I look back, I think I should have been. I was sharing it with everybody around me verbally, but I didn't get bold and brave until um, four or five months into my journey. And I kind of missed that vulnerability, that, that there's a sense of urgency with, with, with sharing and, and that people need to know because we have something that can help them. So share. Be passionate. If you if you are a product of the products, it's going to be hard not to be passionate. If you've got one or two or three products, even if it's just like X Factor gives me energy and I love it. If it's a probiotic and my gut health has completely changed my life. BioCleanse. I mean all of them. Slim. Weight loss. Whatever your journey is on the products, stick with what you're passionate about, what your story is, and just share. Share that. But start sharing and share boldly. Be excited. So three is sharing. Four, you have to start thinking about who needs this. Who do I know that can benefit? Who do I know that I can help? And then literally write their names down. There's something called a Frank's list. You start thinking of um, all different people, friends, relatives, acquaintances, people with your, you know, related to your kids, and you just start writing everybody's name down and then you narrow it down. Top 20. Okay, I'm going to start with 20 people and I'm going to start just calling them and messaging them and saying, hey, I've got this thing going on. It's helping me. I'd love to give you more information. Can we meet for coffee? Can we talk, you know, talk on the phone tonight? Can we just, you know, share what's been happening in my life? Would you be willing to hear about the opportunity? I'm making money and it's helping us relieve this financial burden we've had. Whatever it is, share that too. And it's the right company. We have an incredible company. And there's, you know, there's a lot of companies doing a lot of the same thing. So I understand people might be turned off by that. But if you push value into our company and why, why it's so... We, we have an incredible company. So that's also something. It's not just sharing the products. It's sharing the opportunity and that combination of things. So sharing. Who do you know? That's the fourth one. Now fifth. Set goals and dream big. This seems silly, but writing down goals is very important. Um, I would love to help you write goals, or if you write them down, send them to me, and I can help keep you accountable to those. But it's important to... Look at things kind of scary, kind of far away, kind of like psh, out of reach, not able to get it. Um, I've got some big dreams and big goals, and I am chasing them. And I've got some things around me that help inspire me and keep me focused. Don't wish for it, work for it. Got another one over here. Believe you can and you will. Those are quotes that just help me, focus me. So put things around you that help you and write your goals down. And then work toward them. Check in on your goals. How am I doing before that goal? You know, put a deadline on it. You need a deadline. And before you get to that deadline, check in on it. So there's a lot as far as these five tips, but they are a starting point for helping you go silver. Silver is three qualified ambassadors, active and qualified ambassadors underneath you. And when you do hit silver, you get a $100 bonus. And then you can start working toward gold. And that's where I am right now. I am silver working toward gold. Not very much ahead of you. You guys can be right there with me. So let's do this together. Ready? All right. Be well, God bless, and yeah, mighty oaks.